York City is fortunate to have one of the largest fire departments in the U.S. There are 11,275 officers and firemen in 221 houses. They all have to work together and cover 322 square miles. And this is where our story begins. 131 Amsterdam Avenue, home of Engine 40 and Tower Ladder 35. So the riding list of everybody working today, the engines, the truck. Anything south of the midline would be for incoming water. Anything north of the midline are discharges. These, these would be where we would connect our hoses in order to uh, send water through them to, to fight fires. 75 foot long, it's got a bucket in the back. It can uh, be used for a lot of things, carrying tools, carrying people up. This is, for example, to a roof or to a window to help taking people out. Now, 11, I was a high school student. Um, I was uh, in class, and originally um, I was concerned for well-being of my, my family, my father being a firefighter at the time. I was, uh, I was working the night before, and uh, at the time there was a, uh, we did a, um, on a rotation, they would send you to other firehouses. So I was rotated to Engine Company 161 in Staten Island, and I was working the night before. And uh, I wasn't allowed to leave. Uh, they did a, like a recall, uh, so they didn't let the night tour leave. So we just basically <clears throat> we got a uh, a backup unit, Engine Company, that was manned and um, we basically were just working out of Staten Island. <clears throat> well, I was, uh, I was here, I was supposed to, I was on vacation, but I worked here at the time, and I was home. And my brother called me up, I wasn't watching TV at the time, my brother called me up and told me about what was taking place, and my first reaction when I turned on the TV was uh, that we're definitely gonna get, there's gonna be some dead firemen that day. Um, and I didn't think it would ever be as bad as it was, but I knew, I knew just by looking at the first plane that we would have dead firemen because of just the severity of the fire. So I've worked for the fire department for almost 20 years now, and for the most part it's been a good experience. Very exciting, usually good times, a couple of bad times, but all in all, it's been a good experience. It's a 